Whew. It's a lot of trauma to unpack. You don't know my real name? What the hell? I'm 21. Can you do something for me? That big age. Ladies, right? Right? <laughs> Are we sure we're ready, besties? Spot of claws coming at you. You can't see me. Or whatever John Cena said. Girl, guys, and I'm back at you with another video. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're just gonna be getting to know me a little bit better. Let's get to know your girl, shall we? Before we get too much into this video, I just want to say a big thank y'all for just loving up my page. Like, y'all, we're almost at 80,000 views. 80k views, that's crazy. That's pff, that's really crazy. Um but yeah and we also hit a big number 250 subs you know what i'm saying so i just want to take a moment and say thank y'all and if you haven't joined the gang yet join the messy gang what you waiting on because time is of the essence babe so without further ado let's go ahead and get to know your girl because why not <laughs> usually i don't like when people do these like introductions on youtube because nine times i send they're fake and i'm not one of those people i'm not going i'm gonna keep it a buck with you so i picked out 20 questions some of them are basic some of them are a little bit more in depth but 20 questions that i think hopefully hopefully <laughs> will help y'all get a better sense of who i am so without further ado like i said let's get into it question one what is your real name You don't know my real name? You don't know my real you don't know my real Okay, anyways. My real name is Destiny and if you don't know that, I'm surprised you don't know that because girl, Des does not stand for Desiree. It's destiny. Cause my mom says I was always destined to be here. So I believe I have a bright future. And me personally, I think I have like some extra abilities given that my name is Destiny, but um we'll save that for another day. So let's go to question two. What is your age? How old are you? So uh, <laughs> I feel like you're not really even supposed to ask women how old they are. Girls, females, ladies, right? Right? <laughs> um, but I'm actually 21. 21. Can you do some for me? Tell the ops now for me. 21. Can you do some for me? but yeah so i'm be well i am 21 right now um so i'm gonna be 22 uh yeah <laughs> it's definitely getting too real for comfort out here because like that big age <laughs> let's go to number three <laughs> question three I don't even want to do this question yet. Let's bump it to the last one. So let's jump to the next question. Hold on. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. And it's crazy because a lot of people don't know this about me. A lot of people don't know this about me. <laughs> um, but I have three siblings. I am the oldest sibling of three. Well, I'm the oldest of four. Yeah, I'm the oldest of four, but I have three siblings. So yeah so I, th I guess that makes sense um i'm the only child by my mom but i have three siblings with my dad so that's why a lot of people don't know that i have siblings because a lot of times they just see me with my mom or like they come over to my house and it's just me you know so they're just like you don't have no siblings what the hell i do <laughs> i do trust me and yes i was raised like i had siblings but kind of on the weekends if you know what I'm saying, but we can talk about that in the top two because whew, it's a lot of trauma to unpack. Moving on. Question five. Am I in school and have I graduated? When will I graduate? Yeah. Uh, so good question, actually. I am in school currently. I'm a full-time student and I graduate <laughs> in December. 
So I don't know if that means I'm gonna walk in December or if I'm gonna walk in January, but I'm hoping that means that I'll be class of 2023 instead of class of 2024 because I've been working really, really hard, like really, really hard to be a class of 2023 graduate. However, I'm supposed to be a class of 2024 and I'm supposed to graduate in May. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but i will be graduating with my bachelor's degree and i have a major of psychology if y'all wanted to know that too <laughs> question six what is my favorite subject in school hmm. well in high school my favorite subject was i'd say senior year it was math but every other year it was language arts but in college i would say that my favorite like subject has to be I don't know like psychology <laughs> like I don't know that's what most of my classes are um I do really really like developmental psychology though because it just it, it teaches you a lot about how you grow through the seasons and through the ages and I just I think it's a really really cool you know um field to be in truthfully but however that however that is not the field that I want to be in I oh well, maybe I really don't know Let's not get too deep in this video, okay? Question seven. Talking about let's not get too deep, bitch. What the? Question seven is how many people have I kissed? Well, besides kissing people when I was in like pre-K, kindergarten, you know what I'm saying? I would say that I've only kissed maybe, maybe like four people three people four people that don't mean i did nothing else with them good bros how many people have i kissed recently one <laughs> one how many people have i kissed in the past four years one question eight <laughs> what is a hidden talent or secret that i have that nobody really knows about i feel like i can show you better than i can tell you because when i tell people they're just like yo i don't want to see so I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna tell you, okay? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Are you positive you're ready? I don't know, you know, y'all may not look at me the same after I show you this. So are we sure we're ready besties? I'm double jointed in my thumbs. Like you see how it just like, but uh, yeah. And I can do this thingy <laughs> to all of my fingers. So, spider claws coming at you. The other thing that I can do is I can braid hair. And a lot of people don't know I can do that because nine times out of ten, I look like I don't love myself. But I promise I do. And yeah. Question nine How many pets do I have? Uh, so, I have two kitty cats. One is Jasper, one is Moosey, and I have a dog named Coco. So yeah, that was an easy one. Question 10. What is the best part about being 21, you may ask? I'm gonna be completely honest. The only good thing about being 21 is that you can buy, do, and go pretty much anywhere you want to. Like, that's, that's about it. If you want to go to Cali, you can get into dispensaries. If you want to go to Colorado, you can get into the dispensaries. If you want to go to a bar, you can get in. You could drink. You could order a drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, really anything. That's all. But uh, other than that, the downfalls is being grown. Did I say that? Being grown sucks. It sucks real bad. Um, paying bills being grown <laughs> question 11 what is one of my biggest pet peeves so uh, something that just really irks my soul is when people have the audacity to sit there and try to make you feel like their food is better than yours you know what i'm saying like sometimes you just have people you'll be eating a meal and you see shebeka all the way over there 12 feet away six tables down two aisles over and all you see is the mac and cheese pouring out her mouth because she just girl hell no 
immediately no mm -mm. i can't do that if you smack your food i'm gonna smack you in the face it's just it makes sense you gave me the right away that's it that's all cool we understand because i don't want y'all being smacked in public if you see me because i promise you i don't care who you are question 12 what is your favorite breakfast food so i'm actually glad you asked this question i love breakfast food it's one of my favorite things to eat through the day even though nine times out of ten when i wake up i don't feel like eating breakfast food but like i'll eat breakfast food for lunch dinner late night snack <laughs> um but yeah i usually i don't really eat breakfast like at breakfast time but i love pancakes waffles literally anything with carbs yeah 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 muffins don't matter anything biscuits <laughs> um but no oh my gosh y'all one thing that i will die for is um <laughs> grits with wait for it grits with sugar because ooh, don't get on me don't get on me if you have never had grits with sugar and some butter baby i promise you you have been missing out on like the finest delicacies of life has to offer you because question 13 what is the craziest thing that i have ever done the craziest thing that i've ever done was i went hang gliding and now you're probably thinking like eh, hang gliding it's not skydiving but i mean so not that far off <laughs> i'm nervous though because i have to run off this cliff i get attached to the dude whatever he has me you know in front of him he's on the back of me and he's just like okay ready we'll run and so we're running <laughs> we're just running 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 off this cliff and i look down and my shoe is coming off my shoe was coming off y'all so i tried to stop my strap I, I tried to stop right in my tracks and he just kept pushing me and running anyways i had to run all the way off the hill with no shoe and then i landed in a wet nasty like forest not forest runway i don't know it was like grassy area and it was really wet and i had no shoe because i left it at the top of the cliff So yeah, I had to ride the bus back up to the cliff top, grab my shoe, and explain to the instructor dude that was trying to so nicely show me what it's like to paraglide that I wasn't trying to kill him. In fact, I just lost my shoe and I didn't want to go down the hill and I didn't want to fall off the cliff because if it fell off the cliff, I was going to have to go down there and get it because I'm not going home without no shoe, okay? question 14 weird thing people probably don't know about me even though they know i'm like really weird <laughs> is that probably because probably that i have this thing with like food consistency so like if it's really like too chewy or just too mushy or just too slimy or too whatever if it's too much of something if it's not enough of one thing i'm just not gonna eat it like it just you know what i'm saying like automatically so as soon as it touches my tongue i'm just like <gasps> no <laughs> question 15 have i played any sports and if i did what sports have i played so i've actually always been an active girly um the first sport that i played was basketball um started basketball when i was probably like eight ish maybe that old i don't know i was probably a little bit younger um and then i started playing softball in third grade so yeah i was probably like nine when i played softball so i was probably like seven or eight when i played basketball then i played softball all the way up until freshman year of high school freshman year of high school all the way to junior year i played volleyball then in sophomore year no no, yeah. Then sophomore year all the way to senior year, I played lacrosse. And then senior year, I played flag football. So, active girly coming at you. Better watch out. <laughs> Question 16. I don't know how to do the hands anymore, so we're just gonna... 16. So, this question kind of got a little bit deep. What are some of my ambitions in life? So... Some things that I am very 
passionate about and something that I advocate for a lot just like having to do with my own life is putting myself in the putting myself in the position to be able to care for those that have cared for me you know what I'm saying I don't know I just I'm really big on giving back and giving love because at the end of the day that's all we got that's all we got we got each other and we got love if we don't have love what is it what what's the point of this all thing question 17. <laughs> what would you do in the case of a zombie apocalypse would you a run and hide b be bitten by a zombie <laughs> c um, i don't know any other options but let me just tell you what i would do okay no yeah but i would definitely stock up on everything stock up on everything so yeah i don't know i feel like i would make it out though i feel like i would I would give the zombies a tussle because baby being as athletic as I am them zombies will have a run for their money because no way that you won't catch me you not seeing me you can't see me or whatever John Cena said question 18 are zombies real and if zombies are real are ghosts real yes to answer your question yes immediately yes absolutely 100 percent, thousand percent yes they're real all of them every single one of them everything that you just said yes mm -hmm. yes everything you thought about yes they are <laughs> if you haven't looked at the cia documents i suggest you go do that and if you have looked at the cia documents i suggest you continue to do your research because at the end of the day you could never stop digging for more information you could never stop digging for more knowledge you can never stop growing so yeah but just simply put yes a thousand percent real question 19 really i think this is 18 because we skipped number like four two something like that so we're gonna say it's 18. my time of birth Whew. so if i remember right i was born at like 504 p.m my mom said i gave her a really hard time giving birth so yeah she was in labor for like almost two days <laughs> something like that day and a half question 19 do i have any more piercings or tattoos or anything like that yes i have more piercings but i don't have any more tattoos not any new ones so i don't know if y'all can see it from right here but i did get my nose pierced twice and i have a new ear piercing so uh, let me just show y'all excuse how close we're gonna get okay so i have my nose piercing right there and then my ear i don't know if y'all can see it but that's my ear so my ear is what i think it's called my forward helix i don't even know i thought it was cute it's supposed to help with headaches but i don't know if it's even doing anything to be honest if anything it's giving me more of a headache than but no i'm just kidding um it's really cute can't wait for it to finish healing and then i'm gonna change the jewelry out but i really want to keep building around my ears because i think they're so cute so yeah and then y'all know my nose i've had this one and this one for the longest but i really wanted to add another one so okay last and final question we're gonna go back to the one of the first questions that i had asked in 20 and that is what is my birthday slash my zodiac sign well guys if you have made it all the way to the end of this video and you don't know what my sign is i'm gonna give you three seconds to come up with a decision and then i'm just gonna tell you okay three two one okay time's up babes so <laughs> actually my birthday is december 5th i was born in 2001 and that officially officially makes me a sagittarius oh i really don't care what anybody else says we really are the best and that's just that <laughs> but i'm gonna give you all a little bit more info so my son is in sagittarius my rising is in gemini and my moon is in leo so if you guess either a sag gemini or a leo you're not wrong <laughs> that was about it for today's video y'all i just want to say a big thank you for watching and making it to the end of this video
video. It really does mean so much to me. And I'm so thankful for all of y'all's support and love. And truthfully, without y'all, I couldn't do any of this. So, <laughs> yeah. I just want to come on here and let y'all know a little bit more about me. And hopefully I can get to know a little bit about y'all in the comments below. So, make sure you drop one and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. So, yeah. Stay safe. Stay cool stay warm if you're cold um but uh yeah i love y'all peace